about pipe joints and T-joints, um, how to use them in Blender. If I hit Shift A, we can see that they are not there by default. So what we need to do to enable them is we need to go up to Preferences and we need to search for Extra Objects. And we need to enable that and we'll enable the extra curves as well. And then when we hit Shift A, we should see a thing here that says pipe joints. And this is what we want. And let's start by adding in a T joint. And we can see here for any pipe work or anything where we needed two intersecting cylinders, this would be very time consuming to create by hand. But by using pipe joints and bridging, we can very quickly um, work with shapes that would be that would create problems for us in terms of edge flow if we were to try to do it any other way. You could try to do this with a subdivision surface modifier or with a beveling workflow, but you would always have um, either a very complicated task or problems where you have the triangle where two cylinders intersect and this gives that to us right away and what we would do is to um, do something more complicated with this is we would just go ahead and add another pipe joint and I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees along the y-axis and then if I want to join these two together what I would do is I would just bridge them with loop tools and that will allow you to start making quite complicated things with those kinds of shapes.